Hi everyone. I am Dr. Jacinta Joseph and Julie, Assistant Professor in Department of Sociology and Social Work, Fatima College. I like to focus on emotions today. Let's begin with emotion. An emotion is a feeling such as happiness, love, fear, anger or hatred which can be caused by the situations that you are in or the people you are with. Now, in this slide, we will move on to the characteristics of emotions. The first characteristics of emotion is physical and mental changes, which involves physiological and psychological changes such as flesh of face, flow of tears, the beating of heart and so on. And then in chain reaction, we can understand that one type of emotion can give birth to number of other similar emotions. So emotions play a vital role and continuously it lead to the related emotions. And Emotion is expressed based on the personal quality because one incident may affect differently to many individuals and the emotions comes always quickly and go slowly. Emotional experience persists for a long time also the emotions are same but the causes of those emotions are different and the emotional state of the individuals are unable to rationalize it because it is not friendly with the thinking. And we can see these emotions are universal and each one of the individuals, every individual always uh, whenever they feel happy or uh, then the, when they feel sorrow, they feel uh, something because of those feelings, those experiences, they ex express emotions. In this slide, I have concentrated on different types of emotions we experience in our day-to-day -day life. They are happiness, anger, fear, disgust, sadness and surprise. Generally, women experience these emotions than men. Women are always more sensitive and they are easily get affected and so they are able to express emotions compare it when we compare it with a man. And there are physiological and psychological factors involved in these emotions. Also the contributing factor of uh, biological or physiological factors, it is very important to understand these emotions are controlled by endocrine gland, nervous system and brain because thalamus produce fear, anxiety, automatic reactions. Similarly, endocrine glands organize somatic pattern of behavior. So we the people always uh, controlled by the uh, brain and these glands and nervous system because these these uh, bodily uh, organs and glands plays a vital role in uh, segregating uh, segregation and because of these contributions only connection the human beings are expressing their uh, emotions in this slide i have concentrated on limbic system and cortex which plays a predominant role in the emotional representation And these are the changes we are able to see uh, when we feel, when we have emotions, we can uh, we can express it through face, eyes, postures, gestures and voice. So we can have the changes we are able to sense and uh, we can see the changes in the expression of uh, people when they express their emotions. So by seeing their face, uh, observing their eyes and postures, we can guess what type of uh, emotional experiences, emotional state they are in. And if a person has always the negative and experiencing the negative symptoms, negative symptoms, 
they are experiencing negative emotions it may lead to um, physiological illness also so the branchial asthma cardiovascular reactions and sometimes uh, the skin allergies skin reactions are the examples of uh, these uh, experience of negative emotions with this i conclude experiencing and expression of emotions plays a vital role in in our own physical and mental health so we should always able to express our feelings and able to express experience the emotions and able to express the emotions and we should have always the positive emotions in our life that will contribute in the good physiological and psychological health so be happy stay happy always thank you